Audio Jungle. Hi everybody, my name is Khaled, I'm the programmer of the Tiger Team. Hi everyone, my name is Amr, I'm the leader of the program. Hi everyone, I'm Hamdan and that's Danny. Hi everyone, I'm Mutal Ahmad, I'm the media guy! In this project, we have, we, we have created six units. Three units in protection and three units in promoting. We have worked as a team. Me, Amr, and Khaled, and Mutal, and Hamdan. There's the programmer, there's the media guy, and I'm the leader, and there's the, and there's the, the, the designer, the robotic designer. So, let me show you my part, and then my friends can show you their part. So, as I was saying, this temple is affected by the acid rain. Because the acid rain gets the building to be destroyed. This building is made by Hajar al-Jir. It's, it's, it's an Egyptian, it's an Egyptian stone. So, this Egyptian stone gets removed when the acid rain goes on it, on every temple, not only this temple in Egypt, and every pyramid too. So this is the idea that we thought to protect this temple from the acid rain. <clears throat> we use here a pH sensor to test the acid. Acid is below 7. The pH number is below 7. And when it's base, when it's anything uh, rather than acid, it's above 7. So we have a door, and we have an alarm, and we have the, the, the cover. It's a metal that is, that is uh, eco-friendly to help the environment. So here's what happens. This is an acid. So when you, we put the pH sensor in the acid, the NXT knows that this acid pH number is, is below 7. So this is what happens. It gives an alarm for the people to go out and then And then the door closes and the, and, and, and the temple gets covered by an eco-friendly metal to, to, to not let the acid rain come on it. So then the, 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 the robot notices that there is no acid rain anymore, the door opens and the cover go, goes, go, go, goes down. So now let my friend Hamdan show you the, the second protection system. Hi, this is our second protection of protect system. What to do it when anybody, when anyone or anybody touch anything from the temple or try to move anything from the temple, the alarm will be on. And the alarm will be sent for the security room. And the gate will come down and cut the teeth. Now we try to do it. Now we see. Now the gate will come down and catch the thief. We see it now. So last time here we have the test. It's I think the third unit in our project. So the test is about three questions. You answer all of them right, you will get the gift. If you answer only one question wrong, sorry but so so. I'm sure how it's done. We have here three ultrasonic or uh, a high technique, sorry. This is the answer. This is the card answer. So, we tell you that. Let me give you a question at first. Question is I was simple. It's a temple that was built 3,000 years ago, that's B. 2,000 years ago, that's C. 4,000 years ago, that's A. You take the card, you put it in the right answer. What do you think it is? Maybe it's B. But the robot doesn't answer it uh, at once. No. You should touch the, like, you have the solution and you uh, must get it right, okay? So, you take the card and put it in the right answer, the high, the high technique sensor, and you press the touch. The robot will say good job because you answered once. So you will continue. So after that, no, you will continue and the robot will give you a card. This card is the gift card. They will put it in the gift uh, unit to get a gift. So let's proceed to Amber. 
card. And after answering all the three questions, you're gonna get a card. This card, you're gonna put it in the gift robot. And there's a color sensor, it's gonna see the color of the card, and it's gonna, it's gonna give order to the machine to give you a gift. Here you go. And here's your gift. And now, there's a lift. He's taking the gift up for me to make it easier for, easy for the visitor to take the gift. So this is how we thought of protecting the world heritage. Okay, let me tell you something. We, cho we chose to, to, to do our project about Abu Simbel. But this doesn't mean that it only applies to Abu Simbel. No, it was just a, a, an example from the UNESCO, UNESCO list. These are examples of other historical areas that we can protect and we can promote. Studies show that the number of tourists are increasing every year. According to the chart, we observed that the number of tourists visiting the Abu Simbel in Egypt is increasing. We want this project to protect and to never let this number of tourists decrease because it's an important historical temple that people should, be learned, should, that people should see and learn about the forest history. In 1990, in 1990, in this year, half a million only visited Abu, Abu Simbel Temple. And now, in 2012, 6,200,000 people have, have visited this temple. And we should protect it from the acid rain and protect it from anything that affects it so we can, so people can learn more. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.